Hello guys, I am Shazad Ahmed and welcome in lecture number 17. Today we are going to install the Coding Nighter which is the PHP framework uh, in this domain which is the shakesy.com. In our previous lecture we have download, we, we have successfully installed the WordPress setup in this domain. Now I am going to download, oh sorry, I am going to install the Coding Nighter setup. So what you just need to remove all of all the these all these files because we have created these files. Uh, you have to download. You have to delete all of these files. I'm going to delete all the files. Now we have only go to your domain, refresh the page. So now as you can see, you have your files. <laughs> what you need just need to download the coding nighter setup coding nighter there are two ways to install the coding nighter one is the software quick install and here you can choose the coding nighter if you have okay uh, you don't have the coding nighter setup here it's totally depend upon you because uh, this is Okay, so I'm going to install the coding nighter manually from the official website. So log in with your uh, sorry, access your coding nighter setup, hit the download button. So we are going to install the coding nighter 3.x, which is the current version of the coding nighter. X means the current version is 3.1.9. Okay, we are not going to install the coding nighter 2 because this is the legacy version of the coding nighter. So as you can see, they are saying coding nighter 4 is the upcoming version of the framework so we are going to download this because this is the alpha version so as you can see this is the development is underway with phase one completed in june 2001 it is not ready for the production use so that so that's why we are not going to install this we are going to install this 3.x version okay hit the download button you can also download from the github but i'm going to download this setup okay wait for a few seconds i am downloading 3.1.9 i have already downloaded 3.1.9 so go to your public underscore html directory or in simple words go to your file manager hit the file manager sections and now go to your public underscore html directory from here you can also click this link here so you can upload your coding letter setup which we have just downloaded now select your or you can drag or drag and drop like this so i'm going to uh, down in uploading the coding editor 3.1.9 setup okay wait for a few seconds i have successfully uploaded the file go to your public underscore html directory reload the page this is the coding editor version you have to extract the setup inside your public underscore html directory or in your html directory so reload your page so as you can see this is the coding nighter setup go to your setup refresh the page it's currently showing your folders but you have to move all these files to your public underscore html directory why because public underscore html directory is the root of your website so now select all all files right click move now you have to move from this folder to this folder which is the public underscore html okay move you you have successfully moved go to your public underscore html directory now down, uh, so delete the this folder go to your domain refresh the page so now as you can see it's working fine so you have successfully configured sorry you have successfully installed the coding letter 3 uh, in your cpanel account but one thing you have to how can you connect with your database so you have to create another database or another user for this how can you do that just go to your database create your file i am saying coding nighter or i am saying ci ci means coding nighter create the database go to your and now create the username here you can create the user i am saying ci is the user i am saying ci123 and password now i am saying ci123 and password 
so create the user we have successfully created go back now assign the database to your user which we have just created so how can you do that just go to your add user to database provide your user and provide your database add you have to provide all the privileges make changes now you have successfully uh, created the database and the user and now this is the username and this is also the database how can you configure just go to your application folder config folder and now open this which is the database.php file add it scroll down as you can see this is the username this is the password and this is the database you you can provide the username which is the shakzi underscore ci and this is also the um, shakzi underscore ci is also the pass oh, sorry the database you can provide the password ci123 dollar sign now i am currently passing the wrong password save changes so this is the wrong password refresh the page so now control f5 it's not showing it's not giving us the error why because uh, you you can go to your auto load add it let me show so now go to your public underscore html directory application in the config file config folder you have auto load dot php file so added this file now find the libraries so here you can see this is the database load your database refresh the page and in the database.php file as you can see i am providing the wrong password so save this file and now control f5 so currently it's saying the unable to connect your database because i am providing the wrong database password user password so ci123 dollar sign is a correct password save this file go to your page refresh the page so now as you can see it's working fine so you have successfully configured and you have successfully uh, installed the coding nighter setup uh, in your domain name so as you can see this is the domain name you have just copy your file for suppose okay i think this is enough for today in the next lecture sorry this is uh if you think we are doing good feel free to share our courses and uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel first of all and if you think i have missed something from the cpanel settings you can uh, just send me the email so i can create the uh, further lectures uh, so thank you for watching